What's up toy fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jesse, and I am so excited about today's video. Today is the first time that we are gonna be opening mini brands on this channel. We have opened them over on our TikTok account. So if you're not following us over on TikTok, it's the same name as it is here. It's It's Fan Toy Stick, and I will link it in the description box down below for you. Also, I will link in the description box down below where you can always find any of the toys that we open on the channel. So today we are opening the five surprise series two mini brands and we will be showing you everything that you can get in just a second. It's all new minis. So what mini brands are? They're basically miniature items that you can find at your local grocery store. So you might see down here an example of like Lunchables, Jello, Yellow Mustard. Those are the types of things that you will find inside of mini brands. Now I purchased this little series two mini brands collector's case. It's a really easy way for us to keep track of what we are collecting. So here is what the collector's case looks like. It is just plastic. And so let's open it up and see what it looks like. So first it has this guide that you can see and it will show you where exactly you can place your items that you have received. And so it's double sided. And so here's what the inside looks like. So you can see here we have four items that were provided for us inside of this case. We have only opened Mini Brands Toys series on TikTok. So this will be our first time opening mini brands that are like the original, like the grocery store style ones. So, so the ones out of this series that are shown on this display case, I would really like to get Old Bay seasoning. It's actually like one of my most favorite seasonings. And then also I would really like to get some Laughing Cow cheese and maybe some Baby Bell cheese because I love both of those cheeses also. But why don't we go ahead and get started? We're gonna open six of these balls today and it's mystery time. For the sake of space, I took them kind of out of their box so I could display the little um, mini brands that we're getting on the little display case here so we can see them better. But let's go ahead and get started with our first ball. So it does have two layers of plastic, one on the outside and then one on the inside. And then also to open the ball, you have to pull on this little tab here and it will actually fully come off. Here we go. So this little rubber tab will come off and then watch this. It's like an orange, orange slices, love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our first one. Oh, there's no rip, oh, there it is. Looks like there's no rip tab. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> So we have Nude Premium Dog Food. And as you can see on this side, it's like, it looks like it's got a clear area where you can see the little dog food. And then here are all the ingredients of the dog food, including like caloric intake for your dog. That is too funny. But it looks like a very healthy dog food. It's got berries and carrots and chicken. Super cute. Okay, and next. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I think we got a Lunchable. Okay, so this is our first Lunchable that we're getting. It's called Ham and Cheddar. I used to love these when I was a little girl. I loved Lunchables. And then it does have the same information as it does on the real packaging. So what you're probably notice if you haven't seen these before is these look exactly to a T what they would look like inside of the grocery store. Oh, that's so fun. I'm feeling, okay, I'm feeling this one because I think this is gonna have our guide. So I wanted, before we get too far into it, I definitely want us to look at what the guide has for us. And then we'll take a look at that mini brand that's in there. So here are all the different things you can get. Baker's chocolate, spaghetti sauces, marshmallows, all different types of frozen potatoes, tater tots, shredded potatoes, french fries, three different types of Lunchables. Jello, we've got crystal light, hot dogs, lunch meat, different types of almond milk, lots of different types of almonds, uh, more almond milk, nut thins. We've got these really cute shampoos. We've got some baby products. Here's the nude, um, the nude dog food, and I believe one is cat food that we just got. Honey bunches of oats, honeycomb. We've got 
French's mustard is a diamond and also coconut milk is as well, which you will have seen those were in the mini brand holder that we, or the collector's case that we got. Zatarain's gravy, different types of spices, hot sauces, and then also it gets down here and it shows you, okay, now we can get scanners for the little grocery area. We can get credit card machines. We can get uh, paper sacks, a cart, buggy, a cash register, and then some shelving. And then here on the back are all of these special editions. So you can get gold of these four items. Oh, we need a gold baby bell. That would be awesome. And then a gold shampoo, A1, apple pie spice, glow in the dark. We've got glow in the dark options, metallic options. And then here are all of your commons. Oh, this is so fun. And it looks like a receipt, <laughs> which is even better. So let's go ahead and keep going. With our, with our guide, we got Almond Breeze, unsweetened original almond milk. Now, I can't have almond milk. I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually pretty much allergic to almonds, so um, I'm glad this isn't the real thing. <laughs> and then we have two more to open. Let's see what we've got. Oh, cute. Okay, so we have Rascal and Friends baby wipes, and it's so funny because these are actually like, it's a little bit squishy, and it definitely sounds like when you have baby wipes. That's so funny. There are apparently 72 wipes in here. <laughs> I love the coloration of this packaging too. That teal is so pretty. Those are super cute. Okay, and then the last one, come on, golden baby bell. Why not? Let's get a golden baby bell. Oh, we got shake and bake. <laughs> Moving on to ball number two. We, I thought we have a pretty good haul so far, but it's our first ball, so obviously we don't have any duplicates as of yet. So let's see what we've got in ball number two. Ooh, this ball is a little bit heavy. So I wonder if we might have like a shopping cart or something. Ready? Orange slices. <laughs> okay, let's open. Okay, let's just start here. Ooh, what's, ooh, we got jet puffed. Okay, now look how adorable these little marshmallows are with like the smiley faces and I love the coloration of the packaging. It's all rainbow and it definitely looks like there are some marshmallows inside. How cute is this little Jet Puff pack? I love it. And then there's like a little bouncing rainbow uh, with that little marshmallow on the back. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, okay, I think that one was my favorite so far. It is summertime here in Alaska, and so I think that we are gonna be um, needing some of those so we can have some s'mores at the campfire. Oh, look, we have Honey Bunches of Oats Frosted. Ooh, I bet those are tasty. I've never had those before. I like regular Honey Bunches of Oats. And then on the back, it has like a maze, just like you'd find on the back of the box. And then nutritional information on the side. Super cute. Come on, golden baby bill. Oh, Kool-Aid jammers, hey. Oh man, I haven't had a Kool-Aid jammer in a minute. So here's Kool-Aid jammers. It's such colorful packaging. I love that. I love all the fruits on the front with a Kool-Aid man. And then there on the back is the nutritional information and he's making himself some Kool-Aid. He's making himself some of himself. <laughs> and there's the top and the other side is the same. And it, you can see here, it looks like there's a little perforated edge here where you can actually open up the box and get a Kool-Aid jammer, which is so such a cool detail, I think, of this packaging. We're off to a great start. Okay, this is so jam packed. Let's leave that to the end. Let's go here. Okay, ooh, we got some spaghetti sauce. So here is the Classico tomato and basil fresh ingredients. And it even has, do you see the debossing on there for where they put the logo? That is so cool. And then there is your nutritional information on the back and a little outline of Italy at the top. Okay, I just wanted to try it. it the top does not twist off. I was just curious. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have the um, we have the little orange slice that holds the information. 
And then we have, oh, okay, we've got Stubbs. This is a barbecue sauce. It's the original legendary barbecue sauce. I'm assuming that this is Stubbs. And then I love the little tiny barcodes that we have. And then there's the nutritional facts and information. Oh, he's so cute. And as you've probably noticed, inside each of the balls, you're going to get a guide. So just be aware of that. So you'll end up, if you collect a lot of these, you'll end up with a lot of guides. Ooh, that was so fun. I definitely still love the Jet Puffed. I think that's definitely my favorite from that ball. Okay, moving on to the third ball. Okay, so here's a little tab, pull it out, and then boom, orange slices. Okay, let's open, oh, this one's very light. Okay, let's open this one. Oh, fun, okay, this is a new one for us, Crystal Light Wild Strawberry. So these are like little drink packs that you can get and put into water bottles, like a water enhancer. <laughs> oh, and it looks like it might have added, oh yes, it's got added caffeine because on the back it says, Take that afternoon slump. <laughs> There's the nutritional information. So adorable. I just think these are too cool. Now, moving on to the next orange slice. Come on. Ooh. Oh, is this bacon? Oh my gosh, this is the cutest, tiniest little bacon. Here is the naturally hardwood smoked bacon from Oscar Mayer. And it actually has texture on the packaging. I don't know if that's gonna pick up on camera because it's so tiny, but it does have like, it, it just feels like ridges where <laughs> each of the bacon slices are. That is so clever. And then here is the back of the bacon package with the nutritional facts and also the little windows where you can see the marbleization of the bacon. <laughs> Okay, this one is definitely super cool. That one took me off guard. I didn't expect that one to be as cool as that one was. Okay, <laughs> moving on to our next orange slice. Oh, we've got another thin package. It's Leerdammer Light Swiss Cheese, and it comes in, look at that, it's so neat. It looks like it's coming in a really small little Tupperware type of container and then there is the information for the nutritional facts and also little UPC code. It's interesting, I've actually never heard of this brand before so I've never seen it in real life so I'm not sure if that's exactly what it looks like but I'm assuming that it is because everything looks exactly like the packaging in the grocery store. Fun! So there's a reason this package was so light because those two guys are super tiny. Okay, next we are gonna move on to this guy here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, Jello! Oh, fun! We have Jello chocolate pudding. It makes four and a half cups. That's a lot. Well, I don't think this one actually does. <laughs> so it's got vertical packaging on one side and then horizontal on the back. And then there is where you can open it. And there are the instructions, UPC code, and then there are your nutritional facts. Now. I mean, should we just open it and see what it looks like? Oh, okay, it's it's blank inside. I'm just so curious. I just wanted to know. <laughs> okay, so there is our chocolate jello. And then, last but certainly not least, in ball number three, this is where the guide is. Oh, what's it? Something large is inside. Oh, that's really big. This is the Better Oats Classic Maple and Brown Sugar Oatmeal. Oh, I like this packaging. It's very sleek looking. There's your instructions. Here's the back that talks about how classic and amazing it is. And your nutritional facts. We have three more left to go. Out of all of these three so far, which one is your favorite? I am really leaning towards Jet Puffed Marshmallows and also the bacon because I love the details of both of those. And also the perforation or where you can open your Kool-Aid jammers, I thought was a super cool detail. Okay guys, ball number four in orange slices. Okay, this one is pretty heavy. I know that this one is where the guide is. We're just gonna go ahead and open that because it feels pretty hefty. Ooh, oh my gosh, we have Frank's Red Hot. Oh, that's super cute. This is definitely a staple in my kitchen. Um, my family loves chicken wings, loves, loves, loves chicken wings, and it's definitely something that we make, especially when we watch like um, UFC. 
So that is super fun. Also, I wanted to point out everything that I'm showing you, nothing has been like a, a special edition because the special editions in mini brands are either metallic, glow in the dark, or gold. So everything I'm showing you is considered a common. Okay, let's open. Oh no, I think we have our first duplicate. Yep, we do. We have Crystal Light Wild Strawberry. That's okay. Actually, I'm gonna put the wild strawberries next to each other. Next. Let's see what we got. Oh, cool! We got shredded hash brown potatoes. These are Orida. And this is the brand that um, we use here in my household. We, we really like their tater tots, actually. Those are kind of our preference. And then we have the nutritional facts. They're so lightweight because it feels like they are full of foam. Uh, so these are very easy to drop, but this one is super cute. Oh, I really like that. That is a really fun mini brand. Next, moving on, let's see what we've got. Ooh, we've got a small, ooh, is this taco seasoning? Oh, nope, it's brown gravy. I was gonna say, this looks like taco seasoning. <laughs> we've got McCormick brown gravy mix, and also it definitely is, is uh, got a little bit of foam or something squishy in there. There's the nutritional facts and directions on the back. That is super cute. And then last from ball number four, come on, baby bell cheese. Oh, we have Baker's Dipping Chocolate. I have heard of these, but I've never tried them before. So there's the nutritional facts. But I guess that you just like pop these, pop this chocolate in the microwave and then you can dip strawberries in it. Super cool. Um, yeah, that's a really cute packaging. I really like the coloration of that packaging. For that ball, I definitely like the hash browns the most. I think they are the cutest. So I think I'm gonna go with that. You'll have to let me know down below out of all out of each of the balls, which one has been your favorite or which one do you like the most? And then let's keep going with another ball, ball number five, oranges. <laughs> now this one is really noisy. So I think we've got some, oh my gosh, I, drew, I broke it. I think we've got some hard or large packages in here. So let's go with this first one. Oh, I think we've got some spice. Yeah, we got some organic paprika from McCormick. Oh, that's so neat. I don't know if you can see the paint job on that, but there are little speckles inside. So it really does look like there's paprika inside. That is so fun. Love that. Oh no, we've ran out of room. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna move some things. Okay, so we'll just start here and put ball number five up here at the top. So I dropped an orange slice. <laughs> it went flying. So something to note on these, there is a bottom. There's a little bottom gel piece that kind of holds them all together, but they definitely can come off. So just be aware of that. They might go flying. Oh my gosh, we got more spice. We've got McCormick crushed red pepper. And again, look how cool that is. It really does look like there's crushed red pepper inside. Okay, I was just checking to make sure the lid doesn't come off, but that, the detail in that is so fun. So I was right, there were a couple of hard plastic items in there. That's probably what was making so much noise. Next, let's go here and see. Oops, I keep forgetting they're kind of on the inside. Oh, we've got red jello. Okay, this is strawberry jello. Again, love the details of the jello. Such a cool packaging. So, horizontal packaging on one side, vertical packaging on the other. And then there are the directions, the UPC code, and then also the nutritional information. Okay, slice number four. Ooh. Oh my goodness, yay! Okay, so there's a bit of discoloration on this. Oh, okay, I think it's just from inside the packaging. So this is the Monday Smooth Conditioner. So we got the conditioner. The packaging on this is so pretty. So it's got Monday kind of debossed inside of it. And then there's the directions and information on the back. But isn't this such a sleek little guy? I love it. So we'll put Monday up there. And then last in ball number five, guys, we are really almost done here. Oh my goodness, look. We've got Rascals diapers. These are 4T and 5T diapers, premium training pants. Oh, I'm sorry, they're premium training pants. They're not diapers, whoops. And so there's vertical packaging and then horizontal packaging. And then there is a little bit of info there. And then the bottom, oh, that's cute. The bottom of the package with the UPC code. And these are so squishy, so squishy. 
So I think my favorite out of ball number five has to be the crushed red pepper. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. Look, even on, even on the top of the bottle, it has the McCormick logo. Yeah, this is really cool. Last, but certainly not least, ball number six. Let's get into it. Orange slices. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this first one. Oh, guys, we got it. We got a baby bell cheese. Now this one is different than I had expected. So excited that we got it though. This is like their spiral cheese. Okay, you know that probably, you know that probably my favorite item out of this ball is gonna be this cheese. Okay, let's put it there. <laughs> And then next, let's go to this guy. Oh, wow, look at this. We have a large uh, tub of coffee. This is Maxwell House coffee. And it definitely looks just like the container where you can like grab it with your hand because it's kind of heavy. That is too cool, little UPC code. Love that. And then on the top, it says Maxwell House and it's got the little cup with the drip, with the sunshine raining from it. Such a cool item. I love this blue color, it's so pretty. Okay, let's go here. Oops, I keep forgetting which side the little tab is on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have a very cheese themed ball today. This is Kraft Singles and um, it's got American cheese label on it. The little UPC code, ingredients, nutritional facts. And it definitely looks kind of clear so you can see where the American cheese slices are and see the little individual slices. The details in these are so cool. It is so squishy. Oh, I love that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so fun. So we got two cheese items in that box, that it, in, in that ball. That's so fun. Here is the next. Oh, look at that. We have low sodium blue diamond almonds that are lightly salted. Um, those are super cute, but also I'm pretty much allergic, so I will take a pass on these. <laughs> these don't have any like nutritional information or anything on them. It's just um, the same label on both sides. So I'm not sure if this is exactly to what they show in the grocery store, but it does have a blue diamond label on the top of the almonds, which is really fun. Got a lot of blue items in this one. And then last, but certainly not least, we have <gasps> pickles. Oh, dang, look at these cloths and pickles. <gasps> Kosha dill spear pickles. Okay, love this. This looks totally like it is a clear jar with pickle spears. How amazing is that? That is too cool. It's got nutritional information on one side, UPC code on the other. And then there is the Clausen label on the top. This is so fun. Oh my goodness, for our first mini brands unboxing, that was so much fun. You'll have to tell me down below which item was your favorite item overall. Oh, it's so hard for me to decide. Um, I think I definitely want to go with the Jeff. I didn't think I would like them as much as I do, but I just love the coloration of the packaging of the Jet Puff marshmallows, but I will give high praise to the Kloss and Pickles, Baby Bell Cheese, and also the Crush Red Pepper. Those are too cool. And also I do like the hash browns too. Ah, that was so much fun. I'm going to load them into the Series 2 collector's case, and then I will be right back. So inside the collector case, you can put m some of them. So you'll notice that a lot of these did not fit. Oops, I dropped my Lunchables. Here is what we've been able to fit inside of our collector's case so far. So I hope that we're gonna be able to fill these up. Be on the lookout for part two of this video where we're gonna be opening six more balls. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join us on all of our other social medias. We are over on TikTok where we do daily unboxings. Also, we have an Instagram account. I also have a Disney themed YouTube channel that I will link down below for you guys, just in case you didn't know already. And and I would love to connect with you over on all those socials. Thank you so, so much for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, stay fantastic.